amen and amen. It's a new season. Let's appreciate our choir for that wonderful worship this morning. And Wura, thank you for that special number. That was very powerful. Glory be to God. It's a new season. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's just thank God for bringing us to this new season. Give him glory. Just say something nice from the depth of your heart to, 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 to the Lord for bringing you to this new season. It's a new season for me. It's a new season for you. I want you to appreciate God for bringing you into this new season. Give him glory for bringing you into this new season. It's a new season for you. It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new season. It's a new day. Give him glory. Thank him for new season. Season of joy. Season of power. Season of success. Season of breakthrough. Season of accomplishment. Season of manifestation of the glory of God. Thank him for that season. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Take your eyes off what has been happening in the past. It's a new season. It's a new day. Don't, if, don't even think about the past. It's a new season. It's a new day. Rabashi Talaba. Redebo Shatalaba. Oh, Sana. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Sana. thank you for it's a new season. Thank you because it's a new day. Even as we look into your words briefly, let your spirit move back and forth to and fro in our midst. Do things that only you can do. Have your way in our midst and we promise all the glory will be returned unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You may be seated. The Lord bless you. Just in a few minutes, I want to just share one or two scriptures. Lead us in one or two prayer points. And then I'll make pronouncement and minister to us as I'm led by the Spirit of the Lord. It's a new day. It's a new season. Genesis 8, 22, 8 and 22. We looked at it briefly yesterday. It said, while the earth remained, Seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. By this pronouncement, seasons were established. 
on earth. And then in Ecclesiastes 3.1, it says, to everything there is a season. So those, these different seasons, they were not established for fun. They were not set in place just for the fun of it. Ecclesiastes says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. You are here for a purpose on earth and there is a time for your purpose. And I'm glad to announce to you that the time for your purpose has come. The time for your purpose has come. The time for your own purpose has come. There are plants that are meant to thrive in summer. Some bring out flower in winter. It's surprising. You will see some trees. They will bring out flower in winter. Because that is their own time to bring out flower. Your time to fulfill your purpose has come. Amen. There is a time for every purpose and it is the time for your purpose. Amen. If you believe, say a believing amen. amen. You know the Bible says that by faith, so we're going to take by faith. I want you to listen to me by faith. It said by faith we know, we realize that the world were framed, the walls were framed by the word of God. It is by faith that we realize that the walls were framed by the word of God. Word spoken has the capacity to frame, but it takes faith to realize it. It takes faith for you not to think he's just talking. It takes faith for you to understand that he's not just speaking. Is framing things so that you can respond to it accordingly. It is written that there is time to every purpose. I announce to you that the time of your own purpose has come. In the name of Jesus. The time for you to fulfill your purpose is here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now when the time comes, when the time and the season for a purpose comes, certain things happen. Number one, new season and new time starts with new events that create opportunity for that purpose. You know the Bible says, it says, a time to every purpose. There is a time to every purpose. Now, when the time of a particular purpose comes, these are the things that begin to happen. The first thing is that events, new events that will create opportunity for that purpose will begin to happen. Things that has not happened before. The way it has not happened before. Things will begin to happen in those ways to create opportunity for that purpose whose time has come. The Bible says in Genesis 41 verse 1. Genesis 41 verse 1. It says, and it came to pass at the end of two full years. There was time into it. That Pharaoh dreamed and behold, he stood by a river. When the time for the purpose of Joseph came, an event that will create opportunity for his purpose began. The king had a dream. And guess what? That dream was about seasons. And he was troubled by that dream and he needed an interpreter. Interpretation is the roadmap to the destiny of Joseph. Now that the time of your own purpose has come, event that will create your opportunity will begin to happen. Amen. From January 1st, 2023, events that will create opportunity for your purpose 
to manifest, those events will begin to happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, let the events that will create my opportunity, let them begin to happen now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, let the event that will create my opportunity, let them begin to happen now. By what we create, by what we form, by what we frame. God answers prayer. Prayer works and prayer is working. Events that will create room for my own purpose, let it begin to happen in the name of Jesus. Let it begin to happen in the name of Jesus. Let it begin to happen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. When it is time for your season, I mean, when it is your time and your season, strange events that will create opportunity for your purpose will begin to happen. When I came to the U.S., I've told you several times, I was praying, asking God for what to do, what not to do, what to do, what not to do. He said, then there was an opportunity for training. I pray. He said, go and Go and do it. I will show you favor when you finish. And I finished. Do you know how he brought the favor? The state of Georgia, Department of Natural Resources, thank God Minister Luella is here. We were in the same office. They were, they were migrating data from one database to another database. And they had a problem. It ran into a problem. And they didn't know how to resolve it. And so they put out an advert for a programmer. I saw it and applied, and then they called me for interview. When I got to the interview, they asked me straight. There was no beating about the bush. If you are migrating from this platform to this platform, and you have this problem, what do you do? And I told them what to do, because I was teaching the, the, in, you know, the program in, in the school. So I know everything off my head. And one of them went to the office to go and try it. They tried it, and it worked. So they gave me the job. By the time I got home, I saw the offer on my email. And I went back to resume. Few weeks after I resumed, the lady that was leading the team, he came to me. He said, Michael, what you told us during your interview, I know it. I can't, I can't imagine why it didn't occur to me to try it. If it had occurred to her to try it, they would not declare vacancy for that position. And I wouldn't have gotten the job. I wouldn't have met Luella, with whom we started the church together. I wouldn't have started noontime fellowship. When it is time for a purpose, event that will create the opportunity for that purpose will begin to happen. What went wrong in their database was orchestrated from heaven. It was not system failure. It was heaven, heaven orchestrated failure to create room for a purpose whose time has come. The king had a dream. The dream he never dreamt all his life. Had a dream that he did not understand. The king was not sick and neither the healer. Joseph was not a healer. What didn't come upon them and are looking for a warrior? Joseph was not a warrior. It was a dream he had that he didn't understand. Why? Because Joseph had the ability to interpret dream. There is a purpose in you that God put in you. That is looking for opportunity to express itself. As you shout amen this morning, today, January 1st, year 2023, event that will create that opportunity will begin to happen. Amen. You believe shout a better amen than that? Amen. The second thing that happened, when the season and the time of a purpose come, is that a call to service at a new level, without title, we so forth. When it is your time, when it is your season, you will receive a call to service at a higher level, without a title. 
When they sent for Joseph, they didn't say, we are looking for the second in command to the king. They didn't say, we are looking for somebody that will coordinate the affairs of our nation. They only called for him to come and serve. No title attached. And he went to serve. But that answer to that call is an answer to destiny. The answer to that call is the answer to destiny. A call to service without any title. Genesis 41, 14. Genesis 41, 14. He said, Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. Preparation. The call of destiny doesn't come like the call of destiny. It comes as an ordinary call for service without any entitlement. As you shout amen this morning, the first day of 2023, your call of destiny is coming your way. Amen. It may sound ordinary. It may look very, 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 very trivial. But God will grant you sensitivity. Amen. The call to your destiny is coming your way. Amen. The call of your destiny is coming your way. Amen. The call of your purpose is coming your way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The third thing that happened, and the final thing before we begin to pray. When it is your season and it is your time. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Same skill, same knowledge, same expertise, same grace, same anointing we begin to yield extraordinary results. That is what happens when the time comes. That was not the first time Joseph will interpret dream. That was not the first time. He has interpreted dreams in the past and nothing happened. But when it was time for his purpose, he interpreted dream again. Nothing extraordinary, the same thing. The result that came out of it was mind boggling. When it is your time, the same effort you put into life, the same thing you have been doing, you will do it again, and the result that will come will be mind boggling. Yeah. It's an evidence that your time has come, it's an evidence that it's time for your purpose. Same interpretation. David. He said, I used to kill lion and beard. But there was nothing that came out of it. Like I usually say, it's easier to fight Goliath than to fight lion. Because lion doesn't give you a chance. You do this, I do that. <laughs> Goliath said, if you, if you surrender, then I, it's okay. I won't kill you, but I will just carry you as slave. Lion doesn't give you opportunity to surrender. Once you get into a fight with lion... If you don't kill the lion, he will kill you. Beard. They don't fight conventional fights. There's no time to pick five stones when lion comes at you. But David had fought those fights and nothing happened. Because his time came, he killed just Goliath. They said he killed 10,000. Your time has come. I say, your time has come. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. Now, Jesus, for 30 years, he used to go to the synagogue to read and listen and ask questions. And nothing happened. Nobody knew him. But when his time came, he went again to the synagogue. They gave him a book to read as usual. But something happened. Something turned, something changed. The reading of that day took a new dimension. And he stood and said, this day, 
this day is this scripture fulfilled in your eyes. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. The same synagogue he has been going to. The same book they have been giving him to read. But that day where he read was a reading of purpose. It was a reading of his destiny. It was a reading of his assignment on earth. Why? Because his time has come. Peter has been fishing all his days. But one day, he met with purpose. He was called to service. And he served. And then he, he was told, throw your net to the right side. On the same spot. He didn't say move forward. He didn't say take, move half a mile and throw your net. Where you are standing, throw your net to the right side. And he caught more than he could handle. Why? Because it was time for him to fulfill purpose. The fishing business began to produce results, net breaking results. Because your time has come, your effort will begin to yield net breaking results. In the name of Jesus. Your effort in life will begin to yield extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus. Three things I just told you. As a sign that your time has come. I have seven things written here. But I will stop at these three. And I will lead us into prayer. And then I will minister to us. The first day of 2023. The first day of the year of your destiny. The first day of the year of your own purpose. We are going to rise up on our, on our feet. And we'll take this prayer point, these three prayer points. I want you to pray with the whole of your heart. God answers prayer. Prayer works. And prayer is working. The first prayer point I want you to pray. Lord, event that will open up the opportunity for my purpose. Event that will open up the opportunity for my destiny. Event that will open up the opportunity for my glo glory. Lord, let it begin today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the event start right now. Let it start today. Event that will open up the opportunity for my glory. Opportunity for my destiny. Opportunity for my purpose on earth. Opportunity, oh God, for my success. Opportunity, Lord God Almighty, for my breakthrough. Opportunity, Lord, for my purpose on earth to be fulfilled. Let such event begin. Let it begin. Let it begin now as I pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray.